may peace be unto you, or as we Arabs say, Assalamu Alaikum. My name is Steve Jaraka and welcome back to the world of Mountain Blade Warband 1257 AD, where we take the role as Emir Idris al Vatik, who wants to restore his house to its former glory. And right now we're actually in our manor together with our marshal and our seneschal, and the I just want to show you what we have done because it's been quite a while since uh, you've last uh, or since we've last checked out the manor and uh, a couple of things have happened but first uh, let's actually go over uh, the treasure to see if you have anything accumulated only 180 gold that's not really that much but perhaps we even have uh, something in store let's talk to warehouse master mm -hmm. you're not drunk mm -hmm. well I just want to check my stuff okay we have Three linen, have you anything else? No, nothing else. As you can see, uh, I have been collecting some horses. Uh, I don't really know why I'm doing this. I've been told that a couple horses make you faster because they um, act as pack animals, so you can carry more and are s you're still faster. But I think I've went a little bit overboard with these horses, but it doesn't matter. Uh, as soon as, you know, we have two... As soon as we, we get full, I guess, we're just going to sell some horses. But for now, I, I, I like the company. Uh, but yeah, let's get out of here and actually get one of the horses, um, make one of the horses carry us around. So um, this is obviously where we usually start out. And um, you knew the walls. We've seen the walls before. But we have built a couple more things. Now, we've built, uh, I think, a... Uh, a fishery, we've built a couple of farms, but also I've been building some more buildings in here as you can see. Now these buildings are actually more important because they are the big money makers. So one of them I talked about earlier is the blacksmith right here. And I don't know why I have a list when I say this. Blacksmith. Apologize. So let me see your goods. He has tools who are yeah, well not who, but they are very, very pricey. So uh, I want you to provide your tribute in goods. Thank you very much. So, uh, obviously, uh, he, he won't give us any goods just now, but uh, soon enough he will. We've also built a market square right here. We can uh, buy all sorts of stuff. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. A tradesman. Tradesman for basically every single good. Um, okay, who's this guy right now? Let me have a look. I think he's uh, the, uh, the whiner. Okay, yep. Yeah, let's talk to him. I also want to talk about your tribute. Yep, I want goods as well because wine sells for I think 220 which is also uh, quite good I think that's all we've built over here there's the brothel okay and um, then we already have the linen master he's not new right. yeah we talked to him but we have a tanner over here who's also quite useful Oop. let's talk to him as well see your goods 240 almost okay that's pretty cool I also want you to provide me with goods instead of money and I think we have two more people. We have the oil maker, and then we have that guy over there. I think he makes uh, wool cloth. But let's talk to oil maker first. How much is it? 490. Yeah, that's really good. I want, I want goods, no money. Give me goods so I can sell them off separately. And lastly, we're gonna talk to the wool workshop, workshop master. And uh, yeah, wool cloth. That's also. It's just so good. It's such a good stuff. We all, we want all of that. But yeah, uh, so our manor is growing uh, slowly, but surely we're still missing quite a lot of buildings. I'm not too sure if I want to build the other buildings because um, it takes much longer for them to actually pay for themselves. So I doubt that I'm actually going to, I doubt that I actually uh, build them, or at least I won't build them for now. Um, maybe later if I have money r lying around. I'm also, I've also been thinking about two things. A, I kind of want to build a, p a prison, simply because then I always know um, where I can sell off my prisoners. So far, it's not really been a big problem, but I always hated going into the taverns and look, f uh, yeah, looking for these um, ransom brokers. It, it always annoys me. And also, I was thinking about maybe we want to build, um, uh, what was it? No, I forgot what it was. Oh, right, in a monastery, because I, I want to know if this is actually a mosque, but I'm afraid that it's actually a monastery, and then I have holy orders over here. That, that would be so odd and would break the immersion of this Let's Play, so I, I don't know if I want to do this. Perhaps I'm going to save it, then build it, or maybe some of you guys have an idea what happens if you're a Muslim and want to uh, attempt to build a monastery. But anyways, let's get out of here for now. Let's leave this, because we have some more uh, business to do. To do. 
Um, so let's leave our manor and let's have a quick look at our party. So obviously we still have tons of cavalry here. We also only have three billmen. Uh, well, I keep saying billmen. We have three Berber hillmen. Now I've been trying to get up to five so that I could actually finish my quest. But so far they always died off. So perhaps I should probably move them down just so that they're uh, fighting a little bit later. I'm not sure. The problem is that, you know, I, I want these guys to fight, obviously, uh, so that they can upgrade to the hillmen. But uh, then also at the same time, these guys fight and they just die. Um, but oh well. Now also I've grabbed two more companions and they're already a horse. So first is Yazir. Let's uh, talk to him and let's look at his skills. Uh, he is Muslim and uh, he also has already has some uh, nice gear. And he is going to be our engineer. Now I don't know what else I want to give him. He already has a point in tracking. So perhaps I'm going to give him tracking as well. Not too certain about this, but he's definitely going to be our engineer. And then... We have uh, Riaz, who is our trader, as you can see there already. And let me have a quick look at your skills as well. Do you know anything else? No. He has trade and inventory management. Well, that doesn't really does us any. Uh, yeah, that doesn't do us any good. But nonetheless, now you may be asking, where is Munia? Munia is currently on a mission for another lord because I wanted to improve relations with a well, Emir Yahia. Uh, so he currently has. Our companion but he's gonna give him back soon enough and also we obviously still have to raise these five hillmen that I talked about and we also have the task to ransom this one girl so we're gonna do a little bit of fighting now because I have no intentions of paying these bandits so uh, release the girl first and I have no intention of paying you anyways so we're gonna charge these guys now uh, those are just bandits so uh, I guess here's the thing and um, if I want my infantry to actually get promoted, I would have to let them fight. But then there's obviously always the risk that they die. So I don't know what to do. Advisors, you're going to follow me. And our horsemen, we're going to send over here and see what they can do. And our archer, we're going to put here. Okay. Mm, my... Uh, Horses, you're gonna charge as well. So it seems as though our infantry is doing a good enough job. Um, yep. Okay, who killed them? One of the hillmen's. Yeah, the hillmen's. They, they, they are already, uh, I guess, fully experienced. Um, but the other guys, I, I want these skirmishers to get some more experience. Okay, they have a lot of bowmen here. Let me see if I can take one out. There we are. Uh, so I've. Now that I know that I'm a much better sword fighter, I'm also killing more people as you can see. Uh, the lance just wasn't really my weapon of choice. Um, I probably should have known that before because I've never really played with a lance. Uh, I guess if you have more... I know that you have to press a certain button that it, it kind of automates things a little bit. But I feel like you need to have a certain polearm skill before that's available to you. But anyways, um, we have made short work of these bandits. That's pretty good. So let's release the girl. Yes, come with me. You're going home. Uh, she can actually level up. That's kind of odd. Whatever. We have one more hillman. Okay, so we're very close. We need one more and then we can actually finish this. Awesome. Now, I also talked to my, to my cousin again. And, well, he... Somehow he's obsessed with uh, the kingdom of Bohemia. He asked me again uh, to provoke a war with them. And this time I declined because I just don't really see the point. Um, the king of Bohemia didn't... The, well, the, the, the king of Bohemia, he was not interested in fighting us. And I don't think he will be interested even, you know, if, if I try this again. So all I'm going to do is piss off people uh, in, in, in the Marinette dynasty, which... I guess technically I don't care about that much. But in the beginning I kind of need to keep them happy. There's no ransom broker here. Ah, that's too bad. Uh, I kind of need to keep them happy, at least in the beginning, so that I can actually get a town if we ever go to war. But so far, it seems as though um, the Marin Dynasty is just happy by staying at peace, uh, which is very odd. But uh, while we uh, travel to Fez, because that's where I uh, intend to finish, well, deliver the girl, uh, let's have a look. So, Granada, uh, or the, the Nazareth dynasty over here they have survived the onslaught of the christians so far which i'm actually quite impressed uh the crown of aragon is currently at war with france uh, france is also at war with england if i'm not mistaken and castile has taken one of the castles from navarra and i think they're also still at war i'm not too sure but i think that's th that's the case and over here 
The Sultanate, uh, the Mamluk Sultanate is crumbling. The Crusaders have taken Damascus, they have taken Karak and Al Arish, and the Ilkhanate obviously has taken Jerusalem, but you knew about that already. So th the Sultanate is not doing too well, um, and that's a problem. Now, the uh, Hafsid dynasty is actually doing quite well against uh, Genoa, whom they are currently at war with. They've taken two castles, Bonifacio and Cagliari. Um, so they've grown in strength, which is something I don't like to see, but it doesn't really matter since we, <laughs> we are not even at war. We've not been at war at all. Um, but yeah, we are back in Fez now, so let's talk to the Guildmaster. Uh, usually, uh, we're not getting too much money from this, but at least we have improved uh, our relations and also, obviously, one of our companions gained a level. So uh, let's leave and let's see who's actually in Fez. Hmm, nobody too important. Who was the one guy I wanted... I land Emir Jahia. Where is he? He's the Lord of Melia. So he's probably over here somewhere, I could imagine. Yazid? Sali. We're actually gonna ask this guy, but guys, uh, I think I'm gonna go back off camera because, well, nothing too much is happening. Basically, I'm just making money. I'm actually making quite a decent amount of cash. We have a couple of a couple more uh, productive enterprises. Let me actually show that to you. Um, so as you can see, we have a ironworks, uh, we have another oil press, 200, but the oil press is not really that expensive. It wasn't that expensive. The ironworks is actually really good. As our biggest money maker and only cost 3,500 coins, so that was a really good investment. Much better than the dye works for 10,000, but still, they're gonna provide some uh, good money. Thompson, right now, I think it makes about 2,000 gold, so we are in a really big plus. Um, Adding to that, obviously, all of our loot and the uh, occasional tournaments and obviously the money we get for, for our mission. So we're really doing quite well, um, so I can't wait for a war. But anyways, guys, as I said, I'm going to go off camera and I'll see you guys in a second. Mamluk Sultanate is dire indeed. Alexandria has already fallen to the Il Khanate and Cairo is currently under siege. I think it's safe to say that our brethren over here in Egypt have failed. They failed their mission to protect against the Crusader states and the hordes. But what that means is that as soon as the Sultanate is completely vanished, all of these Crusaders are probably going to focus on us. Now, a, a good thing, a good news, I guess, uh, the Hafsid dynasty managed to conquer all the way up to Genoa. So what that means is they have now a foothold in continental Europe. And I feel like that's going to make them a big target, a big first target. Um, The Crown of Aragon is pushing back France Fiercely, they're currently uh, besieging, well, no longer, they're no longer besieging France, but they have taken Toulouse. We'll see how long they can keep it. Uh, I, I just want these guys to fight each other. That's what we need. Uh, the Nazareth have so far hold, held on to Al-Andalus, and my Sultan, the Sultan of the Marid Dynasty, has so far not declared any wars. We have been at peace the entire time. Now, it's not too bad. I've been touring around the world. Uh, we've been building up many uh, a productive business. As you can see right here, we have ironworks, uh, several uh, oil presses, we even have a winery in uh, Tripoli, and a dye works in Fez. Uh, we're also getting uh, some rents from Thompson, so we're making almost 3,000 gold every week, plus all of the other various activities that we do, uh, like looting, um, missions, and obviously the tournaments that we win. We've just won another tournament in Coimbra, uh, recently, so we are up to 65,000 gold, which is really good. We have also a bunch of stuff stored up in slums and that we can sell uh, But but for now, I think we want to uh, Have a look at our mission So as you can see we ha still have the mission to raise these five hillmen and we've finally been able to do this We only need to find the Sultan and and, and finish our quest and hopefully that's gonna improve relations Enough so that we are in the positive again and also as you can see we are able to now visit the lady, the Lady Kazif, which is my cousin's daughter. So we're gonna visit her. My cousin actually is not too fond of me um, talking to her just yet, but I'm pretty sure I can convince his, uh, con convince him, I guess. Uh, so far, uh, he's the only one who actually shares my desire for war, but for some reason he's so obsessed with the Kingdom of Bohemia. I don't understand. Uh, it's something I just don't understand. Yeah, I guess that they're, they're, that's all I can say, I can say about it. Um, a lot of emirs are walking around uh, Marrakesh, but I don't seem to find my cousin. 
Mm, well, let's visit the Lady Kazif first. Go with the nurse and let's talk to her. We've actually uh, met quite some minstrels on the way and uh, they taught us some poems. So perhaps something uh, that we could uh, present to Lady Kazif. There you are. Hello, Lady Kazif. Okay, she she's happy to see us. Yep, I have indeed received your message. Um, do you like poetry, my lady? Uh, the wind blows, the dry step dust. Um, I think we're gonna go and try that one. Uh, Kais and La Lady. No one should ever have written such a sad poem. It was the destiny of Kais and Layla to be together, and the love should be conquered all obstacles. Should have conquered all obstacles. Indeed. Oh, she didn't like that one that much, but at least it improved our relation a little bit. But I'm gonna have to go away for now. Uh, let's leave and let's try and find my cousin because I want to talk to him. And, and also, we're gonna have to find the Sultan. Uh, actually, let's go back and talk to one of these lords that has just been roaming around Marrakesh. Where are they? Ah, there we are. We've caught up the track. Now, also, we've obviously. We've obviously also updated a lot of our characters. So, if we have a look, um. Munia, Yasir, and Riazat. They have all great armor now. Um, myself, actually, if we have a look at my inventory, I guess, I found a turban, which is something I'm now able to actually wear. It's not really the greatest armor, if you can if you can see, but it's better than nothing. And I kind of want to stay in the roleplay thing, so I only want to use kind of... I only want to wear stuff that you know, an Arabian Lord would do. Uh, we have a step horse, we also have an Arabian horse, but I felt like the heavy step horse is a little bit faster. Uh, the shield is already a compromise. Uh, it's much better than the Saracen, uh, Saracen shield, but I want to upgrade it to a Moorish shield soon enough. Um, we still have these two clothes. I was thinking about maybe wearing some uh, Mongol mail. It, it looks like we could be wearing this, but I'm not, I have not yet decided on it. Um, yeah, rusty mail and the, the regular mail is probably not going to be possible, neither this helmet, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, uh, let's talk to this guy, or maybe, is that the Sultan? This must be the Sultan. Oh, that is the Sultan. Let's talk to him. We've obviously, as you can see, we've lost quite some men, and we're going to lose five more if we give, if we finish this task here, indeed. Uh, although, yeah, it was three, um relations so that was pretty good do you have another task unfortunately not <sighs> I wish you would declare war I wish you would declare war if someone actually I have a question where is my cousin can you please tell me I want to ask you something the location of yep the caliph he should be close to our Zazati which uh, or something like that he should be close over here oh there he is there he is so let's talk to you once more do you have any tasks for us? I want to improve my standing with you. <sighs> You're still going on about the King of Bohemia. You know what? <sighs> I just can't. I just can't do this. I'm going to make everyone else mad. And I'm going to only make you happy. And I don't really, frankly, feel like the war with Bohemia is going to suit us. Uh, it's it's going to help us. A war with the Hafsids, a war with the Nazareth, or with any of these guys over here in the Iberian Peninsula would be useful, but everything else just kind of seems pointless. But yeah, uh, we've gotten rid of all of our missions, so I think we're going to head over to Clemson and our manor and uh, sell all the stuff that we can we can probably grab. Um, we still have a couple of uh, stuff, a couple of cows following us, which is cool. But um, yeah, we, I think it's actually time that we build up our men again. We only have 24. Um, that's not really too much. Let's, I, I guess we're going to grab some more people from Oran soon enough. But first, let's go to Clemson uh, if we can find the manor. It's supposed to be somewhere over here. I remember it was somewhere over here. Ah, oh, there it is. I wasn't, too, I wasn't far enough out. Whew. Well, the population is growing well, so that's good. I haven't been building any more buildings because uh, I think the key buildings that I want, I already have. Uh, still haven't decided on the prison, but I, I think I'm not going to build one. So far, as I said, I didn't have any problems. Let's just go over the tax real quickly, or at least the treasury. 500 gold coins, yeah, that's not really too much, but it's going to continue to grow. Uh, what about the warehouse master? Um, yeah, he's tons of stuff in the storage. Yeah, look at that. Um, so let's grab as much as we can. We still have tons of horses, but I've gotten rid of, I've gotten rid of a couple of them, as you may know. So yeah, let's 
pick up all of this. We might even be able to pick up everything. That would be glorious. Okay, nope, we still have this stuff. Alright, well, we're gonna go ahead and sell that. Um, but guys, uh, I think this was uh, enough for this episode. I'm still wondering as to why we are not able to go to war. But I guess we will use the time at peace to, well, just increase our wealth. Uh, get richer and perhaps build up a little bit of an elite force uh, that can r hit really hard once a war actually starts. But I want to thank you guys for joining me so far. I hope you have enjoyed and I will see you next time. Sutranka, signing up.